Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's wellness webinar. My name is Samantha Richens. I am the graphic designer here at Zydo, and we are really excited to have Barbara St. John with us today. She's going to be speaking on Evox, Beyond Positive Thinking. Now, before we get into that, I'm just going to go over a couple of Zydo reminders for you. So first, our Zydo Regional Events. I just want to remind everyone, this is our last regional event for this year, and that is going to be in Las Vegas, and that's going to be Saturday, December 7th. Now, these are a great way to interact with other wellness professionals to come out and see us and to get questions answered. The registration is free, but the seating is limited. So make sure you go to zydo.com slash events. And next, I just want to remind everyone that we have our uh, wellness challenge going on. So today, at the end of this webinar, we are going to be announcing the October Wellness Challenge winner. And if you would like to participate, it's really easy. Just get a picture of yourself doing something outdoors, something challenging. Go hiking, uh, maybe you've got some snow, go skiing or snowboarding. Um, go out and build a snowman, or go enjoy the fall uh, leaves out there. And as soon as you do that, take that picture, send it to us, email marketing at zydo.com, and also post that to social media. Use the hashtag Zydo Wellness Challenge. It's automatically going to get you entered, and it's as easy as that. Next month, we are going to be giving away an Apple Watch, so make sure you enter. And next, we just like to go over um, the purpose of why we do these wellness uh, webinars. We really enjoy putting them on for you, and we hope that you guys find them useful as well. Um, we hope that we have experts that can share their unique perspectives on a variety of topics and that you can hear uh, how to utilize tools like Zydo in your wellness practices and businesses. And we also hope that these can create um, opportunities for the Zydo community and for you guys out there to connect with other wellness professionals. So we love hearing from you. If you have any feedback for us, just email marketing at zydo.com. And next, I just want to announce that we are going to be doing uh, not only one, but two giveaways today. We've got two. So our first giveaway is going to be the book Bioregulatory Medicine, An Innovative Holistic Approach to Self-Healing. And our second giveaway is going to be the book Everywhere Nowhere, which Barbara actually wrote. So stick around to the end. You could be one of these lucky winners. And that brings me to our uh, presenter today. That is Barbara St. John. So she is nationally acclaimed lecturer, author, and grief recovery specialist. She's a certified hypnotist. She's a biofeedback tech, uh, relationship consultant, and transformational therapist. Um, she has consistent success in applying specialized tools and techniques to help many clients from all walks of life to deal with things like stress, anxiety, abuse, and grief. And she is currently the chief counselor at the American Center for Biological Medicine in Scottsdale, Arizona. So without further ado, let's turn the time over to Barbara. Barbara, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm really looking forward to doing this presentation and explaining to you how we use the EVOX at the American Center of Biological Medicine and how we utilize that to create transformation for many, many of our clients. So collapsing your limited beliefs and perceptions are important if you want to move forward. The state of your emotional health can be heard in your voice. According to the Stanford University Medical School in the research released in 1998 by, by Dr. Bruce Lipton, a highly renowned and respected cell biologist, stress is the cause of at least 95% of illness and disease. All right, and we have a poll question actually. So for all of you out there, the question is, are you able to manage the anxiety, stress, anger, and fear you experience? So let's give everyone just a couple of seconds to answer that. All right, so we've got the results. So it looks like the majority said um, frequently. Um, the next highest answer was sometimes. Uh, no one said never, and there was a couple that said seldom. 
So I want to ask you, are you constantly beating yourself up with negative thinking? Um, do you often feel frustrated? Are you stuck in patterns of negative emotions? Uh, does anger and sadness and loneliness and fear and guilt and shame and grief and much more stop you in your life? Um, is there anything you desire that keeps ex escaping you? Well, you must stop. But many people don't know how to do that. And how do you do that? So I'm sure you've read a lot of books, listened to a lot of audio programs, and you've done tons of self-help material on your bookshelves. At a conscious level, you may repeat affirmations. But if the subconscious programming is one of lack or defeat or insecurity, you're bound to repeat the same patterns over and over again. I'm sure that your life has been better because you have read or listened to these materials. You see, it's not your fault. The life that has not shifted yet, it's, it's your hard drive and what I like to call the subconscious mind. Now the subconscious mind has your heart beating, your lungs working, your blood circulating. Um, all this is happening without you even thinking about it. And I often say the good Lord knew what he was doing because simply if we had to think about those things, we would all be dead. And that's why Dr. Lipton uh, says that 95% of our stress is uh, really, it's unconscious. We don't realize how stressed we are in our lives until we stop to really look at it. We're trying to figure it out on a conscious level, but really it's happening on an unconscious level. The changes you want to create in your life can be reached or accessed subconsciously. And these changes cannot be accessed through the conscious mind. The only way to alter and let go of the struggle and create successes in your life is to change the subconscious blueprint manifesting from your past that has you reaching and responding and reacting in ways that does not get you what you want. In order to master your life and get what you want, you must silence the mind consciously and subconsciously. And what you're doing is creating congruency between the two minds. This is what athletes call the zone. If, that, if they're not in the zone, they're not able to function as well as they would if they were. So what does that mean? That means that the conscious mind and unconscious mind are now working together and not against you. So the unconscious has now collapsed some beliefs or ideas and you're able to move into the zone. And this is where the two minds are working together, not against each other. So mastering your mind is crucial to your happiness and success in life. Yet so many people struggle. You have a conscious mind and subconscious mind. And the conscious mind, which is a powerful mind, has six distinct intellectual faculties. One is reason. You're able to reason things through. Intuition. You have thoughts that, or blinks of information or cues that pop up for you. Perception. Perception is sort of is how someone's looking at me or how they're moving, those kind of things. Or will the willpower, also memory, um, and also imagination. The subconscious mind is the part of the brain that's constantly absorbing information with no filter. It's drawing conclusions, forming beliefs, and creating patterns of behavior based on information it's absorbing. Your subconscious mind contains all of the information that you have ever learned, heard, or read, and experienced. This is how powerful the unconscious mind really is. Now, it may sound difficult to conquer and control both conscious and subconscious minds. I'm going to share with you the quickest and easiest way that you can change your subconscious perceptions so that your energy and focus will be creating a life of ease and happiness. So many of my clients come in and they, what they're really desiring is peace. And that's difficult to find when you are struggling with these two minds. Um, I had a client who came in and she was having difficulty with her husband um, and she felt very manipulated by him, not knowing what was going on. But as a child, she, her father was very demanding and so forth and um, would manipulate her as well, you know, maybe placing her into the fear that he was going to abandon her or be mad or making her feel obligated because he was her father, um, and maybe even making her feel guilty because she wouldn't do what he wanted to do. So she repeated that pattern in the man that she was married to and not able to identify 
this thing called the fog, the fear, obligation, and guilt. So when she was using, we were working with the e-box, she was able to relax the conscious mind, um, which is very important. We have to occupy it. And that's why I, I love the light frames. They occupy the conscious mind while the subconscious mind is searching for the answers. And um, when she came out of the state of relaxation, she was able to put together some things that she had never thought about. And she realized that what her father had done to her, her husband was doing to her. And so she attracted this energy to her very unconsciously. You know, when we get into relationships, it's about the shadow part of us being brought up. And when the shadow part of it is brought up, we're bringing up things from the past. And it's time to work on those so that we can move the relationship forward. So how do you change limiting beliefs and habitable patterns? Well, there is an answer, and that's e-box which means in Latin, voice. So in our practice here at the American Center of Biological Medicine, we have loved how this has helped transform our clients' lives. And um, I had another client who was, came into the clinic and she found herself constantly procrastinating, not understanding why she was procrastinating. And so we used the, utilized the e-box and she was able to discover again very deep, unconsciously, that as a child, her mother was very controlling and would make her do things she didn't want to do. So naturally, she was resisting her mother and didn't realize how that was affecting her in her adult life and that she had made a decision as a very young child that no one was going to control her. And so out of that, this procrastination was created, but then she found the procrastination was happening in all parts of her life and now was affecting her. But once she realized that on that unconscious level, she was able to shift it and now she brought it to her awareness. I tell my clients that there's nothing to shift or change. All you need to do is be aware. And the moment that you're aware, now you're awake and you're in what I call the present moment. Most of us are not in that moment. But the e-box does help you to bring you to that moment by collapsing a lot of these perceptions, ideas, and beliefs. I look at our thoughts as bandwidths, and some are very wide and affect us, like the two clients I shared with you. Another one is that when I talk to my clients, I talk to them about their peeling an onion. And so the first session is like, oh, there's the first one. And then we go deeper and deeper, and they discover more and more things about themselves. So when you speak, your voice carries the energy of what you perceive about the topic you're speaking about. So when I'm utilizing the e-box and our clients are speaking to me about what's going on, it's showing in their voice. So your perceptions enable you to organize and interpret sensory information so you can understand your environment, because as a child, that's all we're trying to do. You know, early in your development, you maintain brain waves that resemble a state of hypnosis in which you soak up everything you see around you like a sponge. You pick up on subtle cues and begin to display behavior patterns that mimic the parents or the caregivers without even realizing it. So now we're creating beliefs and ideas. You know, Aristotle said, give me a child from birth to seven and I'll show you the man. So that tells you a lot about what our childhood actually, how our childhood affects us. All right, so we have another poll question. So it's, do you experience poor self-concept, self-worth, or have self-doubt? So let's give everyone just a couple seconds to go ahead and answer that. Okay, and it looks like we've got our results in. So the majority said sometimes. And it looks like we're pretty evenly split on seldom and frequently. Um, and nobody said never. So it looks like most people said sometimes for that question. So I will say that self-concepts self and self-worth and self-doubt, again, come from our childhood um, and how we were treated as children and what we experienced or what we heard, um, or even by a look. You know, it only takes a nanosecond for a child to absorb uh, an information and create a perception or belief out of it. You maintain reactionary mental habitable patterns and beliefs about your self-worth and capabilities based on events that took place.
place decades ago. And people say to me, well, Barbara, I, you know, that was a long time ago. I, I don't see how that bothers me. But again, once I explain to them how the unconscious really works and how it is absorbing everything and has thousands and thousands of bits of information, much like the hard drive in the computer, they realize that, oh, okay, I do want to tap into what's going on and how do I change this? Now, you may have fears or anxiety or negative views of yourself that you cannot escape. And in these early developmental stages, your brain waves created the essence of who you are. These perceptions, beliefs, and concepts held in the subconscious mind put you in what I like to call a hypnotic trance. And in that trance, we set out to prove what was what we received as a child, the beliefs, the ideas, the concepts, because if we don't set out to prove them, we'll think we're crazy. So we go and we create these things because they need to be healed. So it's time to dehypnotize yourself and step out of the trance with the e-box. Our perceptions and beliefs are stored in the unconscious mind, much like your hard drive, like I said, on the computer stores data. The data shapes the way you view life and ultimately determining your reality and keeping you in the trance. So people are doing the same thing over and over and over again. And here at the American Biological Center, we help people to see what they're doing over and over again and how the stress of the unconscious and what they've been living out of is affecting their bodies. Um, eventually, it shows up somewhere in our physical body because it's frequency, energy, thought, and it's affecting us physically. Um, and like I said earlier, it's like peeling an onion. Um, I had a client I'll share with you who was constantly her self-confidence, no confidence. And um, so we worked with the e-box and she discovered as a child, her siblings, she was always comparing herself to her siblings. And comparison is, is a confidence killer. Um, if you want to be unhappy, uh, compare yourself to something or some, something that someone has or how they look. So she realized as a child, her perception was they were smarter, they were brighter, they were doing more. And so naturally, her self-confidence was very low. And so once we worked with that, she was able to like realize it. And it's amazing how the clients here just shift. And they come back and they say, I don't know what happened, but I'm responding differently. Well, I think what happened is we closed a belief. We collapsed a frequency that was very wide within us, and now we have calmed it down. So perceptions do create patterns that we tend to live out of. And you're now interpreting everything around you through the lens of this personality filter that was developed when you were very young. And these filters of beliefs and perceptions are then developed into patterns that you display in your everyday life. It's just like anxiety. Um, we have clients here who sometimes have a lot of anxiety about their health or about what's going on. Um, and it's about the future. Um, I had one client who was very much so anxious and couldn't do enough and, and was always worried about what's going to worry, what's going to happen tomorrow. And um, with the EVOX, she was able again to go into that unconscious and discover all these beliefs and ideas that she had created from her mother who was, happens to be an alcoholic, and she was trying to work through these things on a conscious level, but she couldn't. So with the e-box, she was able to forgive her mother, actually, which freed her, and um, she is so happy now, and she realizes that the anxiety is gone. So it's very interesting how it works. With e -box, you'll become aware of your perceptions and beliefs, just as my client did, and it will help you shift and transform your life. Remember what I said earlier, all you need to do is be aware. You don't have to shift or change anything, but your awareness alone shifts things on a very deep level. And Evox holds the key to unlocking your subconscious mind, shifting your perceptions, collapsing the limiting beliefs. And Evox removes the things that create negative trances that hold you back from having that healthy mind and healthy body. Anger is another one that I worked with here at the American Center of Biological Medicine. Um, there was a gal who came in extremely angry. And again, going back to the childhood, um, her parents fought a lot. Um, she fought with her father. And never being heard is what came up for her, is that her 
beliefs, ideas, or how she was feeling was always negated. And she kind of stuffed it down and didn't realize how angry she was. And through that process again, of, of looking at it differently, reframing it, um, forgiveness is big, um, she found that the anger was dissolved. And she again said, I don't know what happened. Many of my clients say, I don't know what happened, Barbara, but something shifted. Perception reframing. Hmm. Through a process called perception reframing, you're able to view your circumstances in a new way and overcome the subconscious programming and release the emotional challenges that come with it. Everything you want is available to you, but you won't see it until you turn on the perception that allows you to see it. And with the Evox, that's what we're doing. We are allowing you to relax, you're able to speak about what's going on. The unconscious mind is giving you a lot of information that you are able to process very quickly and come out feeling much calmer. Evox uses your voice that carries with it the perceptions and events and memories, beliefs, whenever you speak about them. Evox records the energy of your voice, creating visual maps of your perceptions about your health, relationship, work, or athletic performance, or any aspect of your life. This is where I said earlier, when, when, the, when we're utilizing the e-box, they're able to relax, quiet down the conscious mind, and now the unconscious mind is now giving you all this visual, uh, emotional perceptions that you have stuffed for so long. Evox maps out and analyzes perceptions, allowing them to come to your awareness and be reframed. And when you reframe them, you change everything. Um, the light frame glasses assist in reaching states of deep, deep relaxation very quickly. And that's where I utilize the glasses because what happens is when the glasses are going, the conscious mind cannot take over. The unconscious mind is now taking over. Many times you wonder how someone who drinks or drugs or alcohol, how they got home. Do you ever think about that? Well, that's the power of the unconscious mind. They get in the car and where are they heading? Home. Unconscious mind says, I got it handled and takes them home. That's how powerful it is. You no longer have to be a victim of your subconscious limiting beliefs. This cutting edge technology will improve every aspect of your life. The session involves recording your voice and then listening to music after your voice is mapped out into the perception index. Now, along with the utilization of the light frames, the music is also relaxing you and it's also keeping the conscious mind sort of kind of occupied, as you would say. Um, one of my clients had a problem with the looping, like, oh my God, she couldn't get out of her head just looping and looping and looping, that's what I call it, um, worrying about this, thinking about that, um, could never quite quiet her mind down. And through the use of the e-box, she was able to realize that this monkey brain, crazy brain, going, 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 she was able to relax it and actually speak different to it and reframe it. When you listen to the music, the missing frequencies, which are correlated with the subconscious beliefs, are introduced to the body from the e-box software. Evox is the fastest way to shift your subconscious. So you're now moving in the direction you want to go. And here at the American Center of Biological Medicine, we use it every day. We have worked on hundreds and hundreds of clients who have transformed their lives and actually helped them physically as well. And Evox will assist you in collapsing the limiting beliefs and the unconscious habitable patterns that stand between you and your desires and of course your happiness. My mission, one of the main reasons it's so valuable to become more aware is so that you can fully live in the present moment. What do the present moments mean? And that's what people say, ask me a lot. And I say, look, the present moment means that you are now able to be aware of how you're responding and how you are reacting. You're no longer acting out of impulse. You're no longer acting without consciously observing yourself which is extremely powerful. Clients say they now watch themselves differently. They say, it's kind of weird, Barbara, like I'm observing myself. And that's wonderful because that means you're in the now. So e-thoughts finally gets you unstuck and releases perceptions that no longer support you and you no longer need and no longer serves you and you're no longer serving them. This is my mission and that's helping you to get unstuck. I just wanted to talk about all the ways that I utilize this in my practice, which is with clients with anxiety, abandonment issues, anger, pain, 
um, and things like that, it's very, very helpful. It relaxes, like I said, you're relaxing the conscious mind so that the unconscious mind can do its job. And all the information we need to know is stored there, and it will give it to us. Um, and as long as we're willing to observe it and look at it, and it shifts automatically. I, I find it incredibly valuable, especially here at our center. That, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Now we do have, um, we've actually got a couple of questions that have come in. So sure. we're just going to get through as many as we can. So our first question is, how has hypnosis enhanced uh, your understanding of the mind and emotion? I've been doing hypnosis for over 40 years and how it helps understanding the mind and emotions, it's a very powerful tool because the unconscious is carrying the patterns, the beliefs, the ideas, the concepts, and also the emotions that we carry with us from childhood, from a long time ago, and they can be hidden uh, deep within us. And so what hypnosis does, again, it quiets the conscious mind so that you are allowing us to go into the unconscious so that we can be aware of these perceptions, ideas, concepts, and thoughts, and emotions that are so deeply hidden that you could never bring them up on a conscious level. Awesome. Okay, our, uh, our next question is, what are some daily practices that you would recommend uh, for fostering a healthy mindset? Some of the things that I recommend for a healthy mindset is relaxation. And that means that maybe listening to music, if you're not used to relaxing, music is extremely relaxing. Also breathing is important. And taking a few minutes in the morning, even before you get out of bed, to close your eyes and just breathe and focus on your body's breathing and just relax your mind before you jump out of bed. It's very, very helpful. Also, before you go to sleep, being able to lay down, close your eyes, and imagine each part of your body relaxing, maybe from the top of your head to your toes, or from your toes to the top of your head. And it's being aware of your body and each part that is relaxing. So breathing, relaxation techniques, and music are extremely helpful for your everyday life. Great. And um, that's actually interesting because last month, our webinar, um, if any of you out there joined us last month, we talked about breathing exercises too. So um, this, these two just pair perfectly together. Uh, all right, so our next question is, um, what should you look for in a therapist if you want to start working through these perceptions or if, if you don't have access to eBox? Well, one thing that you can do if you don't have access to the eBox is find a therapist, sort of like a psychotherapist or even a hypnotherapist who is going to help you to go into the unconscious and discover these things that are going on internally so that you can bring them to your awareness. And once they are at your awareness, you will be able to move through them very quickly. Someone's just asking, um, how did you first learn about eBox? Um, maybe just kind of expand on what your beginning was with it. My first experience and introduction to eBox was through Dr. Drobot, the head of the American Center of Biological Medicine here in Scottsdale. And one of the clinicians was using the eBox and they left. And he asked me if I would look at it. He knew that I had done biofeedback before. So I took the eBox home and I worked with it, my friends and family. And I was astonished at how the transformations were happening and how people were responding to it. So I decided to try it here in my practice. My first real initial client was someone who was grieving and I found it beneficial to help them to get through the process of grieving after a loss. So it's an extremely powerful tool for that. Um, that's all the time that we have for questions today. And uh, Barbara, just thank you so much for joining us, um, even with our little technical difficulties. <laughs> that was great. Um, yeah. Thanks for sharing um, your knowledge with us. And um, for everyone out there, if you want to contact Barbara, if you want to know more maybe about her, her, um, her practice, or if you've got more questions that you think of, her contact information is right there on your screen. Um, just go to barbarastjohn.com. And uh, once again, this was um, incredibly helpful. And um, just thanks so much for your time and um, presenting for us today. Thank you for having me. Yes. Um, all right, so we are going to do our giveaways, and remember today we've got two. 
So our first giveaway is going to be for that book, Bioregulatory Medicine, An Innovative Holistic Approach to Self-Healing. And our winner is Denise Lindo. So congratulations, and we will be in cont um, contact with you. And our second giveaway is Everywhere Nowhere, which is actually written by Barbara. So our winner for that is um, Alan Haynes. So congratulations, and we will be in contact with you and make sure that uh, we get you that book. So congratulations to our double winners today, and we hope you enjoy these. Um, next, we are going to do our October Wellness Challenge winner. So the winner uh, will receive a pair of Apple AirPods, and our winner is Heather Harvey. So congratulations. And remember, next month, we are going to be doing a giveaway. We will have um, an Apple Watch, actually. So if you would like a chance to win an Apple Watch for the month of November, it's really easy. Just go out, do something fun, something challenging outdoors, take a picture, email that to us at marketing at .com. Make sure you post that to social media. Use that hashtag Zyla Wellness Challenge. That's automatically going to enter you, and you could be our winner next month of an Apple Watch. And finally, I just want to remind everyone that our last Zyla Regional event of the year is going to be happening on December 7th. That is a Saturday, and it will be in Las Vegas. So if you would like to register, just go to zylo.com slash events. Remember, our registration is totally free, but the seating is limited. So make sure you sign up as soon as you can. Um, come out and see us. We love interacting with you guys. And next is a new month. It is November. So we've got some special deals going on from now until the end of the month. For the balance, we have the uh, second month free subscription. That's a $100 value. And for Evox, what we talked about today, if you are interested in Evox, um, a purchase of one will get you an extra hand cradle, an extra headset, a poster, and how it works brochures. So that is a $280 value. Make sure you jump on these uh, before the end of the month. And if you want to know more, just go to zido.com and contact us. So that is going to do it for today's webinar. Thank you so much for joining us. Next month, we are going to be hearing from Dr. Bob DeMaria, and he's going to be talking about a drugless guide to mental health. So that is going to be on December 4th, same time as always, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And that'll do it for today's webinar. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next month.